Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Ananta with you. Today's topic is API 1104 pipeline acceptance criteria. This is for switch service defect. What is the mean of switch service? This is regarding you cannot see involvement of H2S and COT in this service. Basically, this one, this one for the kerosene and gasoline product. And this video, you can get all this defect for this particular switch service defect acceptance criteria you can get it from here so in one video it is just out all these things so let's start so you see here types of defects are inadequate there is different clause is then in api 1104 clause you see the 9.3.1 it is for details of restriction what is the restriction is there inadequate penetration at weld root weld root there is not sufficient penetration so what is the acceptance criteria in individual defect that is the maximum single size is 25 mm and if you see the cumulative defects in total length in any 300 mm weld is 25 mm but if it is less than 300 mm that is what eight percent of the oil length so this is the acceptance criteria for 9.3.1 the clause number 39.3.2 it is mentioned that inadequate penetration due to high low that maximum single size is 25 mm and in any 300 mm weld is 25 mm and the same is below same is above the 8 percent of the weld length also the cumulative defects then if you go 9.3.c the internal concavity suck pack that is maximum single size acceptance criteria is 25 mm in any 300 mm weld is 50 mm and the if weld length is less than 300 mm it is for 16 percent of the weld length 9.3.4 is the incomplete fusion at root or cap. If you see any incomplete fusion at root or cap, that maximum single size is 25 mm, and in any 300 mm, it is 25 mm, and 8% of the weld length is the cumulative. So, this is the acceptance criteria for the 9.3.4 that is for incomplete fusion at root or cap. And if you see 9.3.5, Incomplete fusion due to cold lap. There is a cold lap. Maximum single size is 50 mm, and in any 300 mm weld, that is 50 mm only the acceptance criteria. And if it is weld length is less than 300 mm, means 16 percent of the weld length. Now we have to go the types of defect the burn. The burn is API 1104 clause 9.3.7.2. If you see the pipe 60.3 mm OD and larger, that is least of 6.6 .6 mm or pipe wall thickness. That is individual defect. The restriction is pipe 60.3 and OD and larger. This is one option. Then you have to go whichever is less the 6 mm or pipe wall thickness. That is the maximum dimension of individual defect we can understand. Now the second is the cumulative defect that is maximum dimension it is 12.5. It is more than 12.5 and then you cannot accept. 9.3.7.3 the API clause that is pipe under 60.3 mm OD. That is the least of 6 mm or pipe wall thickness. That is also same the whichever is less 6 mm or pipe wall thickness that is the maximum dimension. And cumulative, if you see, the only one unrepair burn through is permitted. Means only one burn through is only permitted if it is pipe under 60.3 mm OD. You see the burn through, how it is looks like. Now the type of defect, the elongated slag. If you see the elongated slag in API 1104 clause, the 9.3.8.2 that is mentioned the pipe 60.3 mm OD and larger. And the, there is another clause 9.3.8.3, the pipe under 60.3 mm OD. So one first one that 9.3.8.2 that is the pipe 60.3 mm OD and larger, the individual defect, the maximum length is 50 mm and the maximum width is 1.6 mm so 50 into 1.6 mm only acceptable that is elongated slag if it is if it is cumulative defect then 50 mm maximum length you can accept other than you cannot accept that is 8 percent of the oil length also the 8 percent of the oil length you can accept 
Now 9.3.8.3, what is mentioned? The pipe under 60.3, 60.3 mm OD means it is below 60.3 mm OD. 3 into 12 thickness is the maximum length you can accept. And 1.6 mm that is the maximum width you can accept. So this is for individual defect. We will see cumulative that is 12.5 mm is the maximum length of the cumulative defects. And that is 8% of the oil length also. What elongated slag line? Slag is normally seen in elongated line, either continuous or discontinuity along the length of the oil. This is re readily identified in the radiograph. You can see, you can see here the elongated slag line. You see the root line, there is the slag is here. You see the slag is continuously slag is mentioned in this road. Now you see the isolated slag. Isolated slag, it is 9.3.8.2 and 9.3.8.3. That is the same one, you can see here, the last one, the 9.3 point that is elongated and another was the isolated. So, 560.3 mm OD and larger, the details of restriction, one is the 60.3 mm and larger, another one is the 60.3 mm OD under. Then the maximum length is 12.5 mm and the maximum width is 2.5 mm. And if you see the isolated slag is 560.3 mm, that is for individual defect, defect 62 into wall thickness maximum length and the wall thickness by 2, the maximum width. So this is the acceptance criteria for individual defect. defect. And this cumulative defects, it is 2 into wall thickness maximum length and maximum number 2 means what is mentioned is maximum number 4 and maximum number 2. Maximum number means if it is isolated slag, if maximum number 4 is there, then we cannot accept. Maximum number 4 it is okay, but maximum number more than 4 it is not acceptable. So maximum number also here the 2. So you understand here the isolated slag and elongated slag, what is the acceptance criteria? You see here the example how it looks like. Now we will go the porosity. If you see the porosity, the 9.3.9.2, the clause API 1.04, you can see there 9.3.9.2. The spherical porosity, that is the maximum dimension for individual defect, is least of 3.2 mm or pipe wall thickness by 4. Means whichever is less 3.2 mm or the pipe wall thickness by 4, this is the acceptance criteria. And the cumulative defect, you see the C figure, API 1104 figure 19 and 20, you understand the porosity. You cannot see the, you cannot show this picture here. This is the one page is there mentioned in figure 19 and 20. And 9.3.9.3, .9 that is for cluster porosity in cap pass. If you see in the capping, there is the porosity cluster. So what is the acceptance criteria? Cluster 12.5 mm and pore 1.6 mm. This is the individual defect and the cumulative it is mentioned the maximum total length of clusters is 12.5 mm that is for the cumulative defects. Piping porosity. What is the individual defect for maximum dimension that is least of 3.2 mm or pipe wall thickness by 4. And the cumulative it is CAPI 1.04 figure 19 and 20. You can see the all the uh, porosities is clearly mentioned here how it looks like. 9.3.9.4 is a hollow bit porosity that is maximum length is 12.5 mm and total length is and this is for maximum dimension for individual defect is 12.5 mm and the cumulative is 50 mm is the length is acceptable. Now the cracks definitely the cracks it is not accepted in accepted anywhere in any permissible limit is not there. So that is not non permitted 9.3.10 it is mentioned the cracks is not permitted. Now you see undercut. Undercut in clause you can find out 9.3.11 and there is two things are there. Details of destruction is there more than 8, 0.8 mm or more than 12.5 percent of wall thickness whichever is less. So whichever is less 0. More than 0 0.8 mm or 12.5 percent of wall thickness. So if it is more than this, then the, you cannot accept. Another one is 0 0.4 more than 0 0.4 mm or 
more than 0 0.6 percent to 12.5 percent of all sectors whichever is less so two categories are there this is the restriction one restriction is individual defects that is maximum length unacceptable there is not any length in undercut you cannot accept in this api 1104 unacceptable in any length only if you find out in the individual there is 0.8 mm so it is okay but more than 0.8 mm you cannot accept and if you see the more than 0.4 mm or 6 percent to 12 percent more than wall thickness whichever is less we have to consider then 50 mm total in any 300 mm or once by six of well length whichever is the smallest you have the you have to take the acceptance criteria so this is the undercut acceptance criteria you can clearly find out from 9.3.11 so i think this is the very third video but very important video for this all these uh, defects acceptance criteria in can we can find out in one videos thanks a lot please like share and subscribe my channel to get the regular video